again and welcome to another video and today I just decided to talk about some um, child or family themed horror movies been really really getting into these a lot lately and um, yeah I just wanted to show you guys what I have in that sort of theme in my collection so um, we're going to start with the purely sort of child and family focused ones first and then I'm going to talk about some that are probably more appropriate for slightly older audiences um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoy it so the first one I'm going to talk about is a really really underrated one and one of my all-time favorites and that is The Gate um, if you haven't seen this one I definitely recommend checking it out um, got a great 80s vibe to it and really 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 underrated Uh, the next one I'm sure everyone's seen, but if you haven't, it's definitely worth checking out. And that is The Monster Squad. Um, if you're a Goonies fan, this is an absolute must. It's pretty much the horror equivalent to The Goonies. About a group of um, young 12-year-olds who form this Monster Squad. They're really, really into the classic monsters. And basically it's up to them to fight all the classic monsters throughout the movie great 80s vibe and there's some classic one-liners like Wolfman's got nuts so yeah well well worth checking out um, the next one is really really underrated and you know if you've got young family members and you know you're thinking of getting them into the slasher genre check out Satan's Little Helper um, this is just a really really fun um, sort of kid themed slasher movie about a young boy who's obsessed with a video game character and you know it's Halloween so it's centered around Halloween and it's got a great uh, Halloween holiday trick-or-treat vibe to it and he comes across this killer from the video game but in real life and you know that um, killer takes the kid under his control the kid just thinks it's one big game but then as the killings take place he soon right realizes that it's real really really fun um, cheesy slasher movie the next one's another fairly popular one and it's a movie that I grew up on I haven't seen it in quite a while but I just um, picked it up recently and that is The Witches um, this is really really good um, definitely one that I would recommend um, it's fairly tame um, but it's got a great storyline and um, pretty creepy in parts as well uh, the next one is another really recent one and one that I saw for the first time earlier this week and that's Cameron's Closet this was really really good and I haven't heard too many people ever talk about this movie before um, it had great atmosphere and it was actually fairly creepy um, this one stars a young boy called Cameron who has telekinesis powers and um, you know he at the beginning of the movie he sort of gets exploited a little bit from his father and a doctor to do with the powers um, he tries to contain the powers but he really struggles sometimes and um, he comes across this sort of old like figurine um, that his father says that he can start playing with and of course it turns out to be evil um, a lot of stuff happens in his closet because he keeps the figurine in the closet um, yeah kind, kind of hard to explain you really it's definitely one that you really need to watch to fully understand the storyline but this is a really really good one well worth checking out um, the next one is another one that I haven't seen in quite a while but I used to watch it constantly when I was younger and that is Hocus Pocus um, this one is really really um, family friendly um, about a group of witches pretty fun the next one is Monster House um, this is a great animated um, kid and family themed horror movie about uh, three young kids who suspect a house across the street is haunted um, great sort of Halloween vibe to this one as well um, well worth checking out and the animation style looks great 
Uh, the next two are really, really popular. I'm sure everyone's seen them. Uh, we have Gremlins and Gremlins 2. Don't really need to talk about these movies too much. But if you haven't seen them, definitely check them out. So they're the main ones um, that I definitely recommend if you're wanting to get into some uh, kid and family themed horror movies. Now I've also got a few other ones that I guess you could classify them under this genre as well. Um, but I would probably recommend them for a slightly older audience. So probably, I don't know, um, 10, sort of 12 to 13 upwards. Um, a few of these I did see when I was about 10, um, but yeah, these are ones that I'd sort of recommend to slightly older kids. The, the first one is The People Under the Stairs. Um, this is a Wes Craven movie, one of his most underrated films. Um, this is definitely probably more for an older child, like around 13, 14. Really, really good though. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, the next one is Silver Bullet with Corey Haim. Uh, this is a great 80s werewolf movie. Really, really underrated. Uh, one of my favourite werewolf movies actually. And um, Corey Haim was excellent in this one. Um, the next three are the Child's Play movies. So Child's Play 1, 2 and 3. In my opinion, these are the perfect horror movie where you sort of... Um, like you've got a younger person or whatever that's sort of, you know, a little bit over some of the more kiddie focused ones and is looking for something a little bit more um, mature, but without going, you know, too, too over the top. Um, in fact, Child's Play was the very first horror movie that I saw when I was about 10. Um, and, you know, in my opinion, that's sort of a good age to get kids watching the movie. Um, it stars a young boy called Andy, who's sort of, I think he's, yeah, he's six years old actually. So he's the main character. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really good one. And Child's Play 2 is excellent as well. And then 3 is pretty good, but um, kind of different. So these are all well worth checking out. Uh, the next two that I want to talk about are horror anthologies, and these are pretty good for a younger audience um, member to get into as well. So we have Tales from the Dark Side, the movie. Uh, this is an excellent horror anthology, three short stories, and um, it's sort of narrow, narrated by a um, young boy as well. Um, basically the young boy, it cuts to him between the different stories, and um, yeah, this one's really, really good. Um, the next one is perfect for a younger audience, and that's The Willies. Um, this one stars three young boys, and they're staying out in the backyard, um, having a camp sleepover, and they tell um, each other scary stories. Um, there's two main stories in this one, um, both really, really good. And the last one is similar to Child's Play, um, probably more aimed for an older child. Um, wanting to branch out a little bit, and that's Dolls. Um, this one is excellent and fairly underrated in my opinion, so well worth checking out if you haven't. Uh, basically it centres around an old couple, they're doll makers, and um, they live in an old mansion, sort of in the um, like countryside or you know out of town, sort of in the Wop Wops. And uh, these two different groups of people um, break down near their place and seek refuge overnight. Basically these dolls come to life and uh, start going on a killing spree. Um, it does involve a young girl, so it's definitely aimed at the younger audience, so well worth checking out. So that's it for this video. Um, yeah, if you've got any younger kids that are wanting to get into horror or you're wanting you know, to slowly ease them into the genre. These movies are all highly, highly worth checking out. They're all great. Um, I've really been sort of on a kid and family themed horror kick at the moment. So if you've got any other recommendations that you could recommend to me, uh, that would be greatly appreciated as well. 
um, if you feel like doing some video responses talking about some of your favorite kid and family themed horror movies that'd be great too and thanks a lot for watching